Hi everyone and welcome back to the African Cichlid Hub. I'm Mark and this is another Update Thursdays video. So in last week's video, Dean Jones left a comment regarding a topic he would like me to talk about in this week's video and that comment got the most thumbs up. It was basically asking me to talk about lighting in regards to making Mabuna stand out and pop. But what I want to talk about in this video is what makes all African cichlids pop, stand out regarding their colour. Now lighting in the hobby is very opinionated and we choose lighting for our needs and what we want our tank to look like. Because we haven't got any coral to grow or predominantly a lot of us do not have plants in the tank, it's all, a mate. It's all about basically making the fish stand out as much as possible. So this is just my opinion, what type of lighting I like to use and if you like the way my fish look in the videos, um, maybe you could try this type of lighting out, but by all means, I'm not telling you guys to go out after this video and go and buy this type of lighting. It's just, like I just said, it's just my opinion. So I recommend marine white and marine blue. Marine white and marine blue uh, complement each other really well. The blue actually penetrates deep into the tank and also helps with algae growth. Now the light, uh, the, the marine white actually helps keep everything nice and crisp. Um, see for, uh, for instance if you were just using marine white by itself your tank would look sort of like a, a yellowy type colour depending on what type of Kelvin rating of the actual tube and that goes for if you're just using say um, a low Kelvin rating tropical tube your tank is going to look a bit yellowy depending on what type of brand it is maybe a bit orange and also purple as well believe it or not um, so yeah that's what I really like to use I know a lot of you already know that I use uh, Iquatics tubes because I have an uh, Iquatics Aqualoon My 2 that holds six tubes. I know a lot of you guys don't have uh, a light unit that holds six tubes, so if you are thinking about changing the lighting up, I recommend that you probably get, say, two marine whites and then just one marine blue. And if you're just using, say, a starter kit with just two tubes, then go for marine white and then a marine blue but don't go for a really like blue plus like I have on the back of my light unit because uh, the blue will overpower the marine white now if you just had marine blue by itself you guys probably already know this as well it's just gonna wash all the colors out and everything's just gonna look blue the blue on say a marine tank is there for a reason it's to bring out and highlight the uh, the colors and the corals as well as you, you know working as a, a moonlight type of effect but in an African cichlid tank, because the, the colours do vary, just like marines and tropicals as well, we need lighting that covers all the spectrum. So say for instance, from blue all the way up to reds. And I find that marine white and a marine blue mix complements them all. Yes, I have got a tropical bulb on my in, in my unit, but that's because I have other bulbs to complement that. The reason why I have a tropical uh, bulb on it is because I have a lot of yellows and a couple of fish that are you know orange as well so it's just there just to highlight those colors now in regards to a specific reason why we're using it say if you're using you know coral sand and coral rock and you're just using marine white your colors of your fish are going to be washed out against you know everything's white basically so if you just probably add you know a nice blue one there as well you'll probably see a huge difference straight away now for the people that have say rocks just like mine sandstone uh, you know the cobbles the river rock and stuff like that you you'll know that fish contrast really well against back, uh, black backgrounds and with a marine white and marine blue type of light setup those fish are really going to stand out and they're going to pop and it really helps as well when you are taking pictures of your fish. The more light you have in the tank, it really helps with the exposure and uh, helping you get that perfect picture. And also helps when you're filming as well, believe it or not. Um, so my main goal for why I was using quite a lot of blue with marine white as well as tropical is also not only to bring out the, uh, the colours in the fish, but I need to encourage a lot of algae growth because the majority of my mbuna are grazers as you can probably see them grazing as we're speaking on this rock down here and at the bottom here and up on the top here and that's that's why I need a lot of light 
to produce enough algae for them to graze in between feeding times. So that's basically my opinion on lighting, what works well for me, it might not necessarily work well for you. Um, it's really a, an opinionated topic within the hobby. Um, so what you can do guys, as well as leaving me a comment regarding the topic you want me to discuss in next week's video, you can tell me what lighting you use and what lighting you find helps bring out the colours in your fish. So before I wrap this week's video up, I just want to show you guys another close-up of all the fry. They are now all free swimming out the shell and exploring. And today when I was trying my best not to disturb them and clear the, uh, clean the tank out, the mum actually attacked my hand and arm so many times, but I didn't have a camera up. So I wasn't going to do it again just for the purpose of making a video because I don't want to stress her out too much. But I've started feeding them now on dried, really finely crushed up uh, brine shrimp uh, with a mixture of uh, crushed, uh, crushed up New Era Rift Lake Red that I've dried out because normally it's quite moist. So I just left it out for a day and it's nice and hard now that I've uh, ground, ground up. So I just use like a little, you know the, the medicine type syringes that you use for kids? I just add a little tiny bit into the water and put my hand in and just squeeze it near the shell so they can all get some. So there is just quite a few. And as you can see, all the brown bit on the side, I can't get anywhere near just in case I damage or kill the fry, which I don't want to do. So there's mum. Let me show her. Ah, she's gone to the back, out of focus anyway. So she is super aggressive doing a good job looking after her babies. I'm not too sure how I'm going to keep you guys updated what type of videos you want so also you can leave us a comment if you want regular updates on how the fry are growing. Anyway guys I hope you liked uh, the video regarding my opinions on lighting like I mentioned before you know leave a comment for next week's topic and the one with the highest thumbs up will be the topic of next week's. Also leave a comment guys regarding what type of lighting you use and what you find makes your fish stand out the best. As always, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.